You ever heard something so outrageous or somebody ever tell you a story but they fully believed it and you're like, there's no way that that happened. Like literally, there's, there's no possible way that anybody would believe that because that, that doesn't happen. There's no way that that happens. That's what people treated the gospel like. The gospel was called the scandal. If you taught Jesus, you are teaching the scandal. That's what this video is about. Let's go. What's up, Disciple here with Thank You Father. Just want to say thank you so much for checking this video. We hope that this video blesses you, that it ministers to you, that it will minister truth to you. We thank you, Father, that the Holy Spirit does that. The Holy Spirit will confirm truth to you. We thank, we thank you, Father, that you guys will take these things and test them all. Test all the things we we're saying, and then you're going to hang on to that which is true. And then let us know if we need correction. Put it in those comments or whatever. Say, oh, I don't really think that, or, I, I feel like that. And then we can talk about it. We can rightly divide the word of truth. We can talk about that stuff. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not trying to dodge anything. Let's go. I'm, I'm with that. But be sure you come equipped, come with some evidence, come with some supporting things. I really don't think so, uh, just because, well, because why? You got some proof? Bring the proof. I, I'm, I'm about that stuff. I, I like that. I enjoy that. So thank you, Father, that you'll get the, we might plant a seed today, Father. We might water a seed. We might harvest a seed. Who knows? But there's a real enemy out there. He's going to try to come pluck out the seed and take it away from you or let it grow for a little bit and then choke it out. But Father, we're praying that right now we'll be able to plant a seed. It'll grow deep roots and then produce fruit in its season. All right, ready, set, here we go. This feeder right here, we're talking about the scandal. The scandal that is the gospel. Now, nowadays, in this year 2021, you could say, oh, I'm a Christian, I love Jesus, you wear a cross around your neck. But that it was a scandalous thing to think, a scandalous thing to even believe back then. The, we just celebrated Easter Sunday. Now, Easter, that's the day we celebrate that Jesus rose from the dead. If you believe back then, like right now, even right now, shoot, if you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, that's a scandal. We're not going to be spreading these scandalous rumors out here. Now, the word, why am I saying scandal? Because there's a Greek word that's used where it talks about um, obstacles or, oh my gosh, you know, putting that, like, there's an opportunity for people to get offended. That The word is scandalon. I don't know how to say it correctly, but that's how I say it. The word is scandalon, which means uh, a barrier, a hindrance, something that stops others. And there's scriptures where Paul talks about it. He says, look, like, I'm preaching you this gospel. I'm preaching you Jesus Christ raised from the dead, but others are seeing it as an obstacle. Like it's a, it's a stumbling block. Jesus is a stumbling block to others. That word stumbling block is where we get the word scandal from. It's scandalon. So let, let's, let's hear it like this. I preach Jesus crucified and Jesus resurrected, right? Jesus resurrected from the dead, came back. But that is a scandal to others and they can't believe, they, they won't believe that because it's considered such a scandal and a crazy thing. How can God do that? You know, that's, that's where people are coming from such, so closely around Easter. Now, you personally, if you're a Christian, you believe in God, go, go into a Walmart, go somewhere and say, hey, I love Jesus. Boom, that's still a scandal today because they're like, get out of here, weak Christian, whatever. I'm on Twitter. I get on Twitter. I talk. I, you know, put Jesus stuff out there. And then there's haters out there that are like, oh, stop trying to shove your religion down people's throats. But I'm not trying to shove it. I'm just showing the love that God gave me. If you're being convicted, then that's on you. But people think that Jesus is still taboo. It's still, obviously, it's not as bad as it was back then. Back then, those disciples, when they saw Jesus raised from the dead, they went and told people, oh, my gosh, I, I saw him. Are you kidding me? Bro, he died. We saw him. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I swear I saw, I saw him. He said to me, he talked to me. Oh, my gosh. So that's what's happening right now after the resurrection on, around Easter time. The disciples are there. Jesus shows himself to some people, a handful. Oh my gosh. He eventually shows himself to over 500 people. And people are seeing him at once, like in groups. Not just, oh, I saw him in my room. Oh, well, oh yeah, me too. I saw him. No, 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 no. Like, bros, did y'all all see that? I did too. That's what's getting ready to happen right now this, during this time after Easter is Jesus is going to show himself in his body, talk, eat, sit, all that stuff before he goes and gets transfigured and then boom, enters into his kingdom and does his cool stuff or whatever else he does up there. But that's, that's where we are. Now, if you are one of the ones that saw Jesus, oh, I saw it. I'm so excited, but I'm afraid to tell others about it because you have two other groups, right? You've got the religious people. 
that aren't even bad people per se. Imagine the religious people now, like today. It's like them, but they have now lost control because the person that they said was trying to ruin the scripture, he actually said, I am the fulfillment of the scriptures. He said, man, we got to put that guy to death. He's blaspheming God. So they kill the guy that they're saying is bad, a blasphemer. They kill him on Good Friday. They said, wait, he did say he would rise from the dead on, on Sunday, on, on the third day. Let's make sure we block that stone. Let, let's make sure we, we put the Roman seal over that cave. That way, if it's ever broken, we know his disciples came to steal it. And it's punishable by death. So let's, it'll keep those guys away. Great. So the religious leaders wanted that. They wanted to make sure that Jesus stayed dead. The Roman government wanted that because they wanted to have peace and not have an uprising because the religious leaders said, hey, if this Jesus comes back to life, you have a big problem because we just killed him. And all his little followers, because he's got a fanatic following, they're going to start going nuts. Okay, you're right. Good idea. Let's put the stone. So we're joining forces through Sunday to make sure that this Jesus doesn't rise from the dead. So they put the stone. They put guards. Boom, the stone is not there anymore. Where, where's the body? I thought you did the body. I thought you took the body. Those disciples must have came in and took the body. They go, the disciples are over there like, oh. they're all running for their lives, right? Jesus just got killed. They're scared. They're like, oh my gosh, bros, I don't know. Oh. Hey, did you hear? Let's say it's Sunday morning. Hey, did y'all hear? What? What? Jesus' body. What happened to it? It's gone. Oh, shoot. I know, right? It's so exciting. No, 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 no. That's scary. Why? They're going to think we stole it. Oh, dang. What are we going to do? Let's get out of here. Oh, my. I'm, I'm afraid. The disciples are terrified. They're scared because now the government and the religious leaders are going to come after them thinking that the disciples stole the body. That's the headspace you have to get into. So now the disciples are there. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. Boom. Jesus shows himself. Oh, oh. Gives them courage. He puts courage in them. He encourages them. Hey, guys, I told you this was going to happen. I told you I was going to rise from the dead. And now I saw that. I know he died. I know this happened. I know I should be scared. I know they're going to try to kill me to stop this, to stop me from spreading the scandal. But I know what I saw. So those disciples are there. They continue spreading the message. Bro, we saw him. He rose from the dead. Jesus is risen. The Christ is risen. The Messiah has risen. He's not in the tomb. It's empty. He has been risen. Meanwhile, the Roman people and the religious people, they're trying to produce a body to make it seem like as if, well, look, here's the body. If he's risen, they can't. They weren't able to. But they're trying to spread lies, saying that Jesus didn't die. Well, sorry, saying that Jesus didn't rise from the dead. But the disciples are saying, he rose, bro. What the heck? What else do you want me to do? So people that are spreading that, saying that Jesus is the Messiah, that he did rise from the dead, people that are saying that stuff were considered selling a scandal. They, they were saying scandalous things. And a scandal is something that, that is offensive to others. It's, ooh, it's divisive. It's going to offend people because, like, ready? If I say Jesus is the way, the truth, and life, and he's the Messiah, he rose from the dead, that's going to offend people that don't believe in God at all because Jesus is God. He said he's God, and that's... So it's going to offend those who don't believe in God. It's going to offend those that think, that believe in another God. And it's going to offend those that believe in many gods, that many gods will make it to heaven. It's going to, it offends everybody. So when you're out there talking to people about Jesus, talking about God, and it's offensive. People are going to be offended, and that's okay. Take strength, be strong, be courageous, because the, Holy, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will give you the words to speak in the very hour. Go, tell them the truth. Go spread this gospel. It's not a scandal anymore. It is a scandal to some. It used to be a scandal to me, and I'm sure it was a scandal to you. But once God did his thing and he showed himself to you, maybe he didn't do it physically, but he did it somehow when he met a need, when you were in the lowest point in your life, and the only person to get there, you said, God, I don't know what to do. It just helped me through this, and God helps you through it. If God showed himself to you like that, through that way, because everyone that believes in Jesus isn't doing it just because their mom or dad said it. They're doing it because they personally had a revelation that God is real, and that Jesus is the Son of God, and that Jesus is, you know, the way, the truth, and the life. That's the people that are believing in Jesus now. And this is happening for over 22,000 years after Jesus even died. So people that, we, we, there's a revelation. I know it. You can't tell me it's not true because he's done things for me. Only things that God would know. Only prayers that I prayed to God about. God has meant those prayers. I didn't ask for a big old Hummer with 24s or whatever. Like little things that only I dared ask for God. I said it in the stillness and the quiet in my heart. 
and God met those needs. How else can you explain that? You can't. So forever, forever, I will always proclaim God's goodness. So that scandal, keep sharing it because it's the truth. It's only scandalous to people that are offended by it, people that are not in the truth. But how else are they going to hear the truth if no one is sent? And if no, one is, if no one's preaching, if no one's preaching, then, you know, go. God's sending you. God's equipping you. God's giving you the anointing to go share this. Because not everybody knows this. Yeah, but they're going to reject me. So what? They rejected God. But, I mean, I don't get my feelings hurt. Who cares? The world is getting real with the evilness. That evil, they are, it's time for us to fight back with the good. We got to go just as hard. You got to match intensity with intensity. That's what's up. And y'all have a fantastic day. Let's go get them. Thank you, Father, for the gospel, Lord, that it used to be in the stumbling block to me. And Father, we thank you that it is no longer. We thank you, Father, that it was a scandal. That to the people who don't know, Father, it is a scandal still. Paul said we preach Christ Jesus. That, that he's a stumbling block. He's, it's scandalous to people to even hear this. But we thank you, Father. We know that it's true. We know that it's real. It's not a conspiracy. It's not just a theory, but it's a fact, Father. People saw you. I felt you. I've experienced you. Father, we thank you so much. Lord, we love you so much, man. Y'all have a fantastic day, baby. Let's go get them. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.